Hi guys, welcome to AndyGuy.online and today I'm doing a personal message in these uh, swim trunks. Uh, it's summertime, I still haven't hit the pool but I've got lots of swims to use. I've got the addicted ones that I have reviewed already and these are from H&M. I've got some more and I've done a full review on my site. Go to undiguide.online. Um, also get very wet in the shower in one of these um, just to just to mix it up and show you how they look wet. Um, so yeah, check that video out. Register free at anyguide.online. Um, I thought I'd give you a little bit of preview of this pair and also talk to you um, about something that's been uh, bugging me about dating apps. I talk to you a lot about dating apps and about, um, you know, boys on it and how they behave and misbehave and how they don't know how to communicate or treat you and how frustrating it is and how important it is for people to start having some sort of an etiquette some sort of I don't know sanity courtesy charm I'm like all of those things are just simply flushed down the toilet um, when guys get on these apps. Maybe it's the anonymity um, because they don't have to put up their real photos. Maybe it's just the fact that you know they can block you or they can ignore you or it doesn't make a difference. You're replaceable, right? You're just replaceable. If it's not you at that moment, it's somebody else for the right now kind of guys. And that I think is really, really sad. Um, of course, that's a whole other video. This is just something I want to talk to you about, about disappearing balls. So I was on one of these apps and you get different messages. Um, I got a message from a guy without the profile picture and he had nothing written in the profile. And you know, that's one of my things, you know, if you're gonna have a profile, at least take the time to write something in it. Uh, don't have a picture, that's fine, but at least have something written. Um, in fact, if I see really nice pictures of a guy and I see nothing in their profile, uh, I just say, okay, is he that good looking? You know, it, it, it makes more of a difference to me if the guy actually has something written there which I can connect to, relate to, identify with and just get a little bit of an idea of what they're looking for. Um, so yeah, so he, he messaged me and he, he had messaged me previously as well and I had ignored it um, because he had no profile photo, nothing in the profile. And then I think this time he sent me a disappearing photo and I clicked on it and he seemed okay, was like, fine. Um, and then I just, I just went back to checking the other messages and then he was like, hey, and I think he sent me another disappearing photo and I saw it and it disappeared and then I had something else to do and I came back and I forgot, I forgot what the guy looked like and I was like, okay, you're sending me all these disappearing photos, I really can't tell who you are and then you get other messages without profile pictures and you're like, okay, which guy is this guy? And he, he was adamant that he wasn't going to send me a proper photo. Um, he just would send me disappearing photos. And then he just stopped sending me those. And I was like, okay. You know, he, he was just like, oh, you're, you look so cute. You know, you, you look really cute. And I, I, I think I want to communicate with you and meet you. Um, and I was like, okay, you're being persistent. Um, and he, he spoke well. For me, that's important, the chat. It was going okay, so I said, okay, fine, um, we can talk, I guess we can talk, and I gave him my number, and he was like, oh, you know, I'm at the gym now, but anyway, I meant talk here, and he meant talking in the app, like, the app had a video call function, so he just wanted to use the video call function, and I was like, oh, so you mean that you're not going to give me your number, and I was like, oh my god. Isn't that a bit too much drama? I told him, I said, that's way too much drama. That is way too much cloak and dagger for me. Um, I can't take that. I'm just like, it's just too much. Um, you know, I said, if you're so scared and so worried, don't be on the app. Simple. Just 
don't be on the app if you're so scared and worried about giving up your phone number or giving up your photo. It makes absolutely no sense. And then, um, then I think he blocked me. Uh, but then he unblocked me and then he said, oh, you know, I guess it won't work out because you seem very rigid. Um, and I was like, no, I'm not rigid. I'm just being regular. And then I blocked him because I was like, okay, I don't want to deal with this. And I was like, where, you know, I'm looking for guys. I'm a gay guy. I'm looking for guys. Guys have balls. So, you know, for me, it's disappearing balls. It's like, where's your confidence? You know, I am just like, you're hiding, you, you can't show me your photo, you don't want to give me your number, you're so scared, and you know, I can understand that I used to be that way when I was really, really young, but this guy was in his 30s, and I'm just like, you know, and, and we're in a different age now, we're in a more accepting age, you got Netflix shows, and everybody's exposed to it, and there's no reason, I'm not going to take your photo, and, and do what, go around looking for this guy, hey, 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 this guy, he's, he's gay, do you know, he's gay, what difference does it make to me, I'm not going to do that, <laughs> you know, or you give me your name, and I'm going to search for this guy, that's not going to happen either, so I just, I was just, it was very frustrating and I want you guys to change. So what is it? Is it being cowardly? Is it being ashamed of who you are? Sometimes that's what I think. You know, when these guys say, oh, you know, I don't need to put myself out there. I'm like, what does that even mean, put yourself out there? I just don't, I don't get it. This is who you are. You know, you're with your friends. You look at a guy and say, oh, he's hot. Probably he doesn't do stuff like that because he doesn't put himself out there but then you're holding back right you're not being yourself and you don't want to show your picture to somebody else who's on the app who's obviously gay and I mean because you feel like you don't want them to know you're gay you don't want to give them your, your phone number I can understand in my time we had landlines right so we didn't have mobile phones until a little later when i was in college and uh, if i give my phone number my landline uh, you know that would be, anybody can pick up that phone um and yeah when you're, in your whatever 14 15 16 17 you're worried about that sort of stuff and somebody calling at any hour now you have phones which have caller ID, you have phones that um, you can block the person on WhatsApp, you can block them on your phone, so you don't have to, you know, if you don't want that guy's call, just block him. Simple. What am I supposed to do if you block me? So I, I just don't get it. I don't get the thing. Um, and I'm just like, you it's clearly a psychological issue it's something that you haven't dealt with about who you are you have not accepted yourself which is why you feel the need now you can say that oh well you're on this app and you should be accepting and that's another thing he said that oh you should accept me as i am and i expect accept you as you are but this is just what i want i want to talk to you on the phone like a regular human being um, I want to see a photo of you and he said he'll give me his phone number after we meet so I'm supposed to give I'm supposed to sort of be like okay I have to trust this guy and meet him uh, just in, I mean yeah and, and hope that he he looks like his disappearing photo and I don't even remember what he looks like a week later I'm not going to remember what he looks like and I'm still supposed to meet him and then he'll decide whether he wants to give me his number mm, I don't know in the whole give-take situation doesn't work for me uh, and and yeah and you're still being persistent about it and my profile uh, especially on one of the apps where they let you write a lot of stuff is quite detailed you know I say no discreet no married no sapio no whatever uh, you know I'm just like because it, I don't want to deal with too many too many things too many labels and too many um, barriers so, you know, he could have just read that and said, okay, this guy's probably not for me, you know, I'm not going to acknowledge it. And yeah, I said that I'll, I won't be able to date you because you're discreet. So he said, okay, we don't need to date, we can just be friends. Like, honestly, I'm not on these apps to be friends. I want to meet somebody on a date, I want a relationship. Um, you know, if the friend thing happens because it didn't work out, then that's fine. That's happened. That's totally fine. Um, 
so yeah, so I I don't know. I just I, I, I just want you guys to learn from this and I want you to hear me and I want to hear how how weird it all sounds, right? I mean the way some of you may behave, the way some of you I'm sure you've encountered guys like this and how frustrating it is to just listen to this and be in this whole situation and you know I've, I've met guys who are totally out to watch elite uh, in front of their family and uh, you know and they're fine doing that with all the gay sex scenes and all of that you know and they're fine with that uh, so that's cool too but that's a whole other you know so I had a conversation with a guy and um, it turned out we were same preference and then all of a sudden things changed and he still wanted to be friends and I was just like I don't know I don't know and then he proceeds to call me at 12 o'clock in the night. I mean, my phone was off, but I got the missed calls. And he messages me on WhatsApp um, his sexual experience w that went wrong. And I'm like, I've just spoken to this guy once. I've never met him. And he's sharing this information. And I wanted to help him. Honestly, I did. I mean, he was a nice guy. I wanted to help him. But I was just, yeah, I was dealing with other stuff. I was irritated. I was just like, I'm just blocking the guy because hello you build something right and then you ask a person for help um, I don't know I just I was like really I mean I'm sure you have friends who you can discuss this stuff with like if I had an incident or something important happen or something significant I have friends who there 10 20 years who I would talk to I know I, I mean there's some friends who I've known for five or ten years who I wouldn't even discuss stuff with She's somebody you've talked with once and you've never met and you're sharing style. Maybe it's just the new generation. I think it's just the new generation, the Netflix generation. They think anything goes. And I... Also, I just feel like I was a little irritated and I was disappointed. To be honest, I was a little disappointed because it was going well and we were talking and then, you know, I don't know. I just... This, this is the problem with... I've done a whole video on preference. Does it matter, really? Does it matter? So, check out that video. <laughs> so, um, all I can say to you guys is choose to be brave. Choose to be um, proud. And I always say be kind, be proud, be sexy. And what does that mean? Um, at the end of the day, that means obviously wear sexy underwear. Uh, flaunt your body, um, no matter what, carry it well, um, don't be afraid of who you are, um, and yeah, and just be out, I want to see more profile photos on those apps, like real profile photos um, of guys, I want to see you pour your heart out into those profile spaces of what you're looking for, the type of person you are. Um, I want you to, to prioritize meeting people and dating them and not just hookups and not just right now. You know, if I'm not there, you know, some other guy will be there, some other guy. You're so replaceable. You're just... I mean, how does that make you feel? I, I really don't know in that moment of horniness. But is that all there is? I don't think so. I think you'll realize one day that it is very, very lonely, very empty, and not fulfilling at all. Um, I need that connection. I want to have some sort of connection. That's something I've always said. But I'm just saying that if you're not man enough to be like, okay, this is me, uh, and if you're so scared, don't be on the apps. Simple. Just hide under your beds, you know be on the down low and that's it. why bother or just make it clear that this is what you want I told the guy I was like, I didn't tell the guy I should have um, the disappearing guy I'm just like put it in your profile say that okay I don't share my photo I only share disappearing photos um, say that you don't share your phone number you'll only use the apps video call you will give your number after you meet the person and you're not out and you wouldn't be out if you dated somebody and I'm like, you want to date somebody and still be discreet that's another thing I don't understand I'm sorry all the guys who are discreet no you do not deserve 
to date somebody and, and be like oh this is this is my friend or this is my roommate or this is my um, whatever nephew or my brother I've known people years ago I've known a guy uh, and they with another guy they used to live together they shared the same surname everyone thought they were brothers so did I for the longest period of time and it turns out they were lovers like, oh my god um, so, so what is all of that what the fuck is all of that and don't be with somebody then who's gonna be that way if you're out and you're open don't be with somebody who is not out tell them to fuck off you know if you're giving more and more and depositing and depositing all this love energy care and that other person is not doing anything they're taking then you're going to be left with nothing then that's not fair you need to close that you need to close that don't be with people like that make them come out say hey we are not going to be with discreet people simple stop being afraid okay so uh, right below I'm sure a lot of you who I'm talking to are people who are you know you don't have profile photos or whatever you can tell me the reasons family I agree there are reasons I'm not saying they're not reasons that people are that way I'm just saying plan so that you can be at a point where you are no longer afraid or scared or and do you want to do that for the rest of your life I don't know I'm saying it because it's not good for you I'm not really getting anything out of it okay there'll be less profiles for me to whatever people will send me private pictures or whatever I'm not getting it it's for you it's for you to be free it's for you to live a free happy proud life not to have to skulk around not have to hide lie be afraid be ashamed be embarrassed there is no reason there is no reason um, so yeah, check out Andigaida online for my full review of these as well as the other ones um, that I have. Did I show them to you? So yeah, this very beautiful orange one and this one which actually fits really well. Um, so yeah, and I will get one of them wet. Um, write into me at Andigai one online uh, at gmail.com and uh, check out my Instagram and Twitter pages be good be sexy profile pics write something in your profile tell me tell me that you've changed and I will be happy